Hi, it's Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, where today we're going to be making banana crumb muffins. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please click the button down below. Well, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is turn on our oven to 375 degrees. We will be using muffin tins today. Uh, and we will probably be using at least 10. We may be using 12. You can either grease your muffin tins or you could go ahead and use those muffin or you call them cupcake liners and that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to go ahead and take the camera and turn it around so you can see this up close. You need a large bowl. In it I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We are going to go ahead and add in one teaspoon of baking soda and we are going to mix that in. And now we need to go ahead and put in one teaspoon of baking powder, which I have right here. Next, we need to go ahead and put in half a teaspoon of salt and mix it in. Now that all our dry ingredients have been mixed up, we need to go ahead and push that aside. We are now going to take another bowl uh, and in it we are going to put in three mashed bananas. Now these bananas that I had, they were ripe and I ended up mashing them and we'll put them in the bowl. To these mashed bananas, we are going to be adding in three quarter cup of granulated cane sugar, which I have here. We're going to pour that in. And now we're going to go ahead and put in one third cup of melted butter. I am using unsalted butter because we have already put salt in the dry ingredients and I'm going to go ahead and drop that in now. Now that I've put the butter in, now we are going to go ahead and use a mixer and beat it on low speed. Now that that has been beaten, we are going to go ahead and add in one large egg. And I have lightly beaten it in a bowl. And uh, we'll put this in and then turn on the mixer and beat on low speed. Now that that egg has been beaten into our banana mixture, we are going to go ahead and put in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And then we will use the mixer to mix it in. Now that that vanilla extract has been mixed all in, we need to take our banana mixture and mix it into our floured mixture we have right here. Um, I am just using a spoon to mix in the floured mixture. Now we need to go ahead and spoon it into our muffin tins, either again greased or with uh, cupcake liners. We need to fill them about three quarters of the way full. I'll work on the rest of these. Now that we have all the banana batter in the muffin uh, tins, we need to go ahead and start working on the crumb topping to go on top of them. In this bowl, I have one third cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of all purpose flour, and one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to go ahead and cut the butter into the dry mixture. Again, my butter was more ice cold. Your crumb topping should look like this. And now we're going to take the crumb topping and we are going to sprinkle it all over the top of our banana muffins. Now that I have all the crumb topping on top that I would like, there is still a little bit left in the bowl, but I've got, I'd say at least one more muffin to go ahead and put in a, a cupcake liner. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put it in a 375 degree oven and we are gonna bake it for 18 to 20 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. The muffins are all done. Let's go ahead and let them cool. Here's the muffin up close. Let's go ahead and try it and see how it tastes. Well, let's go ahead and try this muffin. I showed you up close. It smells so good. It is delicious. 
Well, thank you for watching. This was Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead. I hope you have a good day.